He was terrified. They all were. But with their freedom on the line, he stood at the wheelhouse of the Confederate ship and signaled their fleet. What happened next would set them free or kill them. This is Two Minute Black History, what you didn't learn in school. The sun hadn't yet risen above the horizon on the foggy morning of May 13, 1862. Skulking in the harbor, Robert Smalls and the black enslaved crew of the Planter, a Confederate cargo ship, stole away. They had a mission. Having navigated the Planter for weeks, Smalls knew the Confederate routes along South Carolina's coastline. The cover of darkness allowed him to rendezvous at a nearby dock where his wife, four-year-old daughter, and infant son were waiting to join him. But the real test was yet to come. The planter was a noisy vessel. Smalls knew that Confederate checkpoints along the coast would hear it, so he memorized their sentry signals. Even once they were out of Confederate waters, they still weren't safe. The Union Army was known to fire at Confederate ships on sight. Smalls threw up the white flags of surrender and pulled up alongside the Onward, one of the Union's mightiest ships. Smalls had managed to do the impossible. He, his family, and the crew of the planter were free. Sometimes it's best to move in silence. Hundreds of years after pioneers like Smalls, we are still organizing in silence and rising to create a movement. But just because we may be quiet, doesn't mean that change isn't coming or we're not on the move. In order to move towards the future, you've got to look to the past. This has been Two Minute Black History, a podcast by Push Black. Show your support by sharing this story on your social media and join us in amplifying stories we all deserve to know.